Hey guys, today I want to do a quick video uh, where I will try to explain Gecko. Uh, Gecko has been very misunderstood over the years, um, so I'm doing a lot of work to try to clear that up a little bit for you guys. So in this video I will be, it, it will be going over the core concepts, but I will keep it non-technical. Uh, just so you can understand what you can do with Gecko uh, and Gecko Plus. Uh, I'll be doing that by showcasing the new Gecko UI I'm building, so this will be the new interface. Uh, for Gecko that you will find hopefully very soon uh, if you download the open source version or on my uh, service that I'm building called Gecko Plus. Uh, so check the description for the latest status because right now I'm developing it but by the time that you watch this video it might be already developed or something like that. Uh, okay so I'll be talking about automated trading using Gecko. Uh, so just a quick quick overview. Uh, automated trading means that you to trading which is buying something and then selling it again uh, automatically using some kind of a program or a bot um, and, and Gecko can, can do that for you however there are multiple forms of, of automated trading uh, so there is uh, arbitrage and arbitrage has a lot of different forms uh, like you can do straight up arbitrage you can do um, triangular arbitrage you can do statistical arbitrage um, I've been doing multiple forms of arbitrage over the last few years. Uh, in the link in the description, you can find a story of a big arbitrage system I was operating. Uh, so I'm familiar with that space. Uh, something else you can do when you automate trading is, is market making, which is which is very different from any other type of automated trading. Um, market making is kind of a rough beast, but it's also a very important one. I've also been doing that for a while now. Um, I'm still doing it at the moment quite profitably so uh, I hope I will shoot a video on that very soon while where I explain some of the core concepts so subscribe if you if you want to see that uh, I think I'll do that in the next few weeks or so as is market making there's also something called front running which doesn't really exist in crypto at the moment uh, but it's very big in Wall Street and it's a very dirty dirty way of uh, automated trading uh, and then there is trend following which is using some kind of uh, um, uh, a model where you try to predict that we're now in, a, in an uptrend, like Bitcoin is going to a, a bull run or it's going all the way to the moon. Uh, and we know that now, that in the future it will be higher. So it will be an, an uptrend toward that. So if you buy now and then we can sell later when it's higher, and then we can make some profit. So that's trend following. And that's the type of automated trading that Gecko can do. Okay, so this is the new Gecko UI. Uh, I will show some more stuff, but I'll start out with the basics to explain you what Gecko can do. Um, so you can see one line of the screen, the blue line, which is called marker. So this is the, the Bitcoin value, like this specific market shares Bitcoin dollar over the course of July and a few days of August, basically one month. Um, and as you can see, the price has gone up, but not very smoothly. It has gone up, it has gone down. Um, so imagine for a second that you own one Bitcoin. Uh, then this line represents two things. One, the price of Bitcoin, and two, the, the value of your portfolio. So if you have one Bitcoin, it, the value of the portfolio goes up and down together with the price of Bitcoin. Um, so that's what a lot of people do. They buy some Bitcoin and they just ride it out, right? Like the holders. Um, but what, instead what you can do with Gecko is you can try to um, leverage the fact that it goes up as well as it goes down. And if you're able to predict this a little bit, you can make even more money. Uh, like in this month, for example, the price went up from just over six and a half thousand to almost seven and a half thousand. So it's a few hundred dollars up, which is great if you're just holding it. However, if you're able to leverage these 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 up uphill moments, uh, then you can make even more, uh, and also with considerably less risk, since. Uh, you don't have to always hold Bitcoin. So the idea here is that if you have this one Bitcoin, then whenever you think the price is going down, you sell it, and then you hold on to the dollars. And then if the price goes down, you're able to buy back in at a lower rate. And you didn't actually lose the money because while Bitcoin went down, you were holding on to dollars. And the same for if the price goes up. So for example, over here, in the 12th of July, uh, the price has gone up in just a few days, up until like the 20th or so of July, uh, quite drastically. Like from below six and a half thousand to almost seven and a half thousand, so over a thousand bucks in, in a few days. 
and if you were to have been able to predict this, you could have made all that money, right? So if you had one Bitcoin, you could basically have made a thousand dollars. But then when it went down, so for example, from here, like before that, you could have sold, uh, meaning uh, you, should, you, you made more money with less risk, uh, assuming you're able to predict these trends. So how Gecko does it, Gecko can automatically trade. So you can automatically swap your one Bitcoin in and out of dollars. Uh, and every time you think the Bitcoin price will go up, it swaps into Bitcoin. It will ride out the trend going up. And whenever things Bitcoin will go down, it swaps back into dollar and you're not affected. Um, so here you can see um, on the screen now, I've plotted a few circles and they represent trades. So this is for, this is an, a sample strategy. This is a historical simulation uh, of how Gecko were to have performed over the month of July. Uh, if you were to have traded using this specific strategy, this was uh, the simple MACD strategy, which tries a very, very simple uh, trend prediction uh, uh, model. Um, and in this specific example, you can see that it would have were to have bought here, it would have sold there, uh, and which means from this point on, you're into dollars. And over here, it would have bought again, which is great, right? Because Bitcoin got gone down, but it, it were to have bought uh, only after it went down. This is still a bit vague because you just see a line with a bunch of circles. So in the next example, uh, we can see the concept in Gecko called round trips. Um, so, so here we just see a blue line with a bunch of circles, which indicates buys and sells. And over here we can see uh, boxes as well. So these boxes are called round trips. Uh, so in Gecko, basically the idea is that you're always in dollars. In the case of dollar Bitcoin. You're always holding on to dollars unless you think the price will go up. That's when you buy in. Uh, and for that duration of time, you will be holding Bitcoin and your, your, the value of the portfolio will move together with Bitcoin. And once, you've, once you, uh, your model thinks it doesn't go up anymore, it's actually going to revert and sell. Uh, so you're not in any risk. So you can see that here, right? So here you can see there's a buy uh, at this price, 6,596. It would have been a sell at 6,700. Uh, and then if you move over here, you can see this is called round trip zero. Uh, the first one, computers count from zero. I will probably change that, but in the video it's zero. Uh, so here you can see the summary, the same buy, the same sell, and that's one and a half percent of profit uh, that we were to have made in that round trip. So if we look over here, there's another round trip. Like it would have sold a, a bought over here, sold over there, uh, which is yet again a, a major, major profit increase of 15%. Uh, so this is great. Uh, and then there's even another round trip, which is also profitable uh, of 10%. Um, yeah, and the idea with Gecko is that you have these round trips. If they're centered towards the, the, the times when Bitcoin go, goes up or whatever your trading goes up, th then you're in the money. Uh, so what I just explained so far is I exp uh, explained the concept of uh, market, which is the, the price of the market of whatever you're trading. Uh, Gecko can buy and sell. And these buys and sells are organized into round trips. And you hope to make more money with that. So how much money are we making here? Well, in this next uh, screen, you can see the performance as well, which is the green line I added. So the performance is if you had this one Bitcoin in the beginning, how, how much money do you have now? Uh, because with Bitcoin, it, the money of your portfolio only goes up, measured in dollar or measured in whatever base currency of the market. As soon as you're... In a round trip, they can go up and down. By the way, right? If you if you have a terrible round trip, then uh, your prices of your portfolio will go down just as easily. Uh, however, if you're not in a round trip and the price goes down, like in this this part over here, you can see the blue line going down because the blue is the market. The green line doesn't, because we're currently holding on to dollars and nothing has changed with our dollars, measured in dollars. Um, yeah, so that's the green line. So as you can see here, because we have three profitable strategies, every time the green line it ends up a little higher. So the people who bought Bitcoin uh, and are just holding it out in the hope that Bitcoin grows to the moon, they're now stuck with less money. Here we can see a, a result, uh, a box that shows some, some, some key metrics. So imagine you had one Bitcoin in the beginning. This was the price of Bitcoin in the beginning, um, which is the same as here. So this shows the market, the market start and the market end. So the market started at 6.6K, ended at 7.6K. Uh, it's not displayed in this graph because this graph only renders uh, specific candles, whereas this shows everything. 
that's that's why there is a, a small discrepancy there. Uh, I will try to make this more clear. Uh, it's a bit rough this UI. Um, and as you can see, the start balance was the same as this one Bitcoin. However, we're able to we're, we're ending with a lot more dollars uh, just because we're able to only leverage we're only uh, riding the the upticks, but not suffering the downticks. Uh, so the market went up 15%, whereas our portfolio, our one Bitcoin that we had, went up 27%, almost double. Uh, so this, of course, is an example of a successful strategy. Gecko also has, uh, like, you can also have bad luck or you can have a terrible strategy. Uh, but this is just to, to, to showcase the, the idea of, of what you should be aiming towards. Um, so let's take this to the extreme. Um, so in, imagine that you have a time machine. So this is just hypothetically, this is not, you, you cannot build a Gecko strategy like this. But just to showcase, uh, if you take the, the core concept of round trips and, and trades and buy sells and you take them to the extreme, and if you were to have a time machine that you can, uh, every day you can check the price, jump in a time machine, go back one day. Uh, if you can do that every day, uh, and then only trade whether the price in the future has gone up or not, uh, then you can make a lot of money. Obviously, if you have a time machine. So if you have a time machine, just to be sure, this is all hypothetical. You cannot make this much money with Gecko unless you're really, really, really lucky. But this is in, in one month, you would have like more than doubled your money. Uh, if you're able to predict every little uptick of the price. Uh, and you can read the assumptions here at the bottom um, about the costs that the simulation uh, uh, took into consideration. Uh, but yeah, it would have traded 300 times. It's almost 10 times a day, only leveraging the little upticks that happen every day, naturally in the markets. Um, so this is kind of like the, the the extreme. This is the extreme profitable side of the of the of the spectrum with Gecko. And there's also an extreme downside. Like if your round trips are organized in a way that it's buying above where it's selling, you're basically losing money all the way down. And you're able to lose more money than the market. Because if the market goes up and you're constantly out of the market by holding on to dollars, you basically get the opposite effect, uh, which is this one. So uh, this is the worst hypothetical situation. Uh, you could trade using trend following, using a tool like Echo. Um, it would basically trade every time the price goes down, <laughs> which is a lot. Uh, and then there's also costs, so you're actually losing even more. Uh, and this, this one would have traded, this simulation would have traded uh, 400 and uh, 47 times over the course of a month uh, and you're losing money all the way so the idea is that this is the this is one side of the spectrum the one extreme side this is the other extreme side um, however you um, it won't be either of those unfortunately it will be somewhere in the middle and you're aiming for your portfolio to go up more than the market um, or to be in the market with less risk Okay, so if we, we take, a, take a step back from these extremes, we have the spectrum with the hypothetical minimum, the most amount of money you can lose, and the hypothetical most amount of money you can make. The gecko will fall somewhere in the middle, so where do you want to be on the spectrum uh, in regards to how much money can you make and how much risk are you willing to take? Uh, because as you can see in this example, uh, we go back to the first example, um, that only in the boxes is when you're actually holding on to Bitcoin. Uh, because right now Bitcoin, it's a it's a young project. It can crash. The price can crash at any moment. I'm not here to predict that it will, but it might happen, right? It's very speculative, uh, and the price can go anywhere really, really quick. Um, but if you're using Gecko, you're only exposed whenever you're in a round trip. So in this chart, all the white stuff, which is not a round trip, is when you are not exposed to any potential crashes. Like there was one here. This is a terrible example because it went, went up again a few minutes later, but or a few hours later. Um, but this is a big risk, right, if you're holding on to Bitcoin, whereas with Gecko you can limit that risk. Uh, so the goals of Gecko are two things. When you want to limit the risk of the market you are trading, so you want to limit the market risk, you can also call that the market exposure, uh, to, only, to only profit from the upside but not suffer the downside, specifically crashes. Uh, and then the other thing you want to do is you want to increase your money, you want to make, you want to make profit over the market. Right, so if you go back and we, we look at the, the result box here, you can see that all these metrics are aimed at seeing how much money did you make, the green line, 
And then how did that compare to the blue line, which is a general market, which is general holders, right? That, that, that's a good base benchmark to compare yourself to. Uh, did you make or, or lose more money than if I would just were to buy and hold? Okay, so the final thing I wanted to talk about is a strategy. Um, so Gecko comes out with all these buy and sell signals in this pattern. And as you can imagine, and as we have seen in this extreme example and this other extreme example, um, when you buy and sell is a big influence in whether you're going to make money or not. So how does that work in Gecko? So Gecko by itself, it never comes out with any prediction on when to buy and sell. With Gecko, there's something called strategy, which is your, your algorithm or your alpha, as it's called in financial markets. Um, and this is the, the piece, this, this is the part that decides whether you should buy or sell. And that's going to determine all your profit. Um, so Gecko is a, a little bit technical too right now. And for the non-technical user watching this video, you're probably interested in Gecko Plus, which is a platform where I, uh, I will be um, hosting some strategies from other people uh, and using a lot of historical data to, to, to give some statistics about how successful they are, yes or no. Uh, but for the technical users out there, you can just use open source Gecko, which is free, and we'll very soon have this new fancy interface as well. Using that, you can um, create your own strategies. Uh, you can script them in JavaScript. I will actually be doing a few videos after this one, going in depth about how you can design your own strategies, what kind of tools you can use, setting up a development workflow, uh, specifically for Gecko, and all these all this good stuff. So subscribe if you're interested in that. And um, uh, yeah, see you next time. Ciao.